Alright everybody, hello, hello, and welcome. How's everyone doing today? What a, a fun Tuesday it is today, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I'm Darkside Phil, welcome to my gameplay stream. How you doing? I'm waiting for a response, how you doing? Oh, that's right, you're on the internet. I can't hear you. Duh. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'll be honest, though. I feel a little, uh, not necessarily under the weather, but uh, kind of a little bit of a headache. I've been trying to shake it all morning, and I feel a little groggy. Uh, probably because I didn't, I didn't get to sleep as early as I would have liked last night. Let's just put it that way, which happens, you know. Uh, excuse me. Whew. For various reasons. So here I am drinking a, a Mountain Dew Kickstart, which is what you just heard. But uh. How's everyone doing? Hopefully well. I'm trying to shake this and get ready for today's gameplay. For today, as you can see, we had a poll last night to determine what would be played on my first stream today. There are two options. There were Overwatch, which released last night, and I actually did a stream of it last night. Uh, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. The latest Ninja Turtles game. This one by Platinum Games. So, uh, yeah. And the poll was very close. In fact, the poll was neck and neck for quite some time. Only having uh, about 50 votes uh, between the two games. I think I had over 400 votes overall overnight, which is pretty cool. Thanks to those who did vote. Um, but yeah, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles won the poll. So I said, okay, I will do this on my first earlier gameplay stream. Now, Ninja Turtles have had quite the storied history when it comes to video games. In fact, if you actually take a look, I believe the Ninja Turtles franchise may be one of the franchises with the most video games ever made. I'm not even kidding. Like, if you go into YouTube, what you do to, to, to when you start streaming on YouTube, much like Twitch, you have to type in the name of the game you're going to play. And when I typed in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I kid you not, like... 20 to 30 options popped up. I was like, Jesus H. Christ. And I'm looking at some of them, and God, some of them were shovelware. A few of them were great. You know, the two Ninja Turtle games that stand out to me uh, are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Those two were quite good. Uh, you know, four-player cooperative side-scrolling beat-em-ups. Of course, those games came out in the mid-90s. <laughs> Actually, the, the arcade game came out in the early 90s. The arcade game came out before Street Fighter 2. That's how old that game is. Holy shit. Um, and actually, if you, you might not even know this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, was the game that got me into arcades. Like, until I saw that game in an arcade, I had never really been to one and hadn't spent any time in one. And when I saw that fucking game, and I was such a Ninja Turtles fan at the time, I got hooked. I was like, I gotta keep playing this, I gotta play it. And eventually I beat it. And, uh... Yeah. You know, pretty uh, interesting that here we are kind of coming full circle. Holy shit, the, the game that got me into playing video games seriously. Right? And now today we're playing the newest Ninja Turtles game. Now, I've played Ninja Turtles games on YouTube before. If you actually look back... Uh, and I will, I will tell you this because I almost never mention this. If you go to my website, thekingofhate.com, okay, at the top of the homepage, there's a tab that says playlists. If you click on that tab and you type in a name into the search engine, you'll bring up the playlist of all the games that I've played for whatever you typed in. So just to give you an example, I'm going to do it live here on stream. So I'm going to go to thekingofhate.com because I'm curious to see what comes up. I'm going to click on playlists and I'm going to type in... Teenage Mutant and hit enter. So I got Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, the Hyperstone Heist comes up. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja, it doesn't come up, maybe TMNT. There we go. So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if I just type in TMNT, I get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time reshelled. As well as Turtles in Time reshelled four-player co-op. Because I believe I did both. Now, that was back in 2009. I did the Turtles in Time reboot as well as the Turtles in Time four-player co-op playthrough. So, oh, uh, damn, that's pretty old. 
That is, uh, holy shit, seven years ago. <laughs> and that's on the original Dark Side Phil channel. And then TMNT Out of the Shadows co-op comes up. That's from 2013. That's from about three years ago. And if you remember, that game was a god-awful piece of shit. It was incredibly buggy. Uh, there was a stage where, you know, shit wasn't even loading properly, and I never finished it because it was just such a buggy piece of garbage. I didn't even bother with it. I played it for a few hours, and I said, enough of this shit. So, yeah. Uh, Ninja Turtles have had quite a storied history, and I've played a few Ninja Turtles games. Now, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I think I pl played through... Oh, I remember now. There was a Ninja Turtles game that I played, but I didn't record it for YouTube. There was this Ninja Turtles game that I played. It was right before I had started on YouTube. And it was a new one, too. And it was a pretty easy game to play. And I remember playing through it just to get the points. Because that was back when I was kind of... Uh, I was addicted to gamer points. And I really wanted to... Uh, you know, get as many gamer points as I could for my Xbox 360 account. And I heard that it was pretty easy to get the points in that game. And I ended up playing and do a full playthrough of this Ninja Turtles game back. I think it was like 2007 or 2008. But that was before I was recording for YouTube. <clears throat> so, you know, over the years... Oh, by the way, I also played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. I played that one. Um, not the arcade game, but the original one for NES, which was incredibly difficult. Also incredibly shitty. It was a game with a great premise and horrendous execution. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Ninja Turtles have been around the block. Ninja Turtles have had probably 30 to 40 video games made about them over the years. And by the way, it's hilarious because that's the various iterations of the Ninja Turtles. There was the comic book Ninja Turtles. There were the TV cartoon show Ninja Turtles. There were the late, uh, uh, early 2000s Ninja Turtles, right? And then there's the most recent incarnation of the Ninja Turtles for TV. And then there's the movie Ninja Turtles, which were the, the early 90s. No, actually, it was 1989, I believe, the first Ninja Turtles movie. And then you had the most recent Ninja Turtles movies. So you're talking basically like ridiculous amounts of the incarnations of the same fucking thing. And they've all had their, all, their video game adaptations of each various uh, version. So that's probably why the Ninja Turtles have so many damned video games. <sighs> so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today we're trying out the newest one. I've already heard horrible things about this game. I hate it when I go to play a new game, and I get all excited for it, and then I wake up the day of the game and people are like, Wow, people played this game last night and it's a stinky piece of crap. Great. Apparently the game is incredibly short. From what I'm going to understand, the longest stage is 20 minutes long. Um, and the game only has about nine stages from what I'm hearing, which means you can basically beat the game in about three hours, and, uh, it's not, apparently not very challenging. <laughs> Great. And it's made by Platinum Games. Now, Platinum Games is kind of hit or miss. You know, over the years, you see you made some great stuff and some not-so-great stuff. You know, when I say great stuff from Platinum Games, I think of games such as Bayonetta, or, uh, what was it, Vanquish? That game, that was really unique and different and fun, but it was very short. Um, you know. And then there's some stuff that wasn't as great. You know, Transformers Devastation last year was kind of eh. It was okay. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't bad. It was just kind of eh. It had some really great parts and some not so great parts. Right? So, ugh, I've actually heard that the team of from Platinum Games that made this game were not the same team that made... Transformers Devastation. This is a, apparently a different group of, of developers, okay? So, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was a huge fan of Ninja Turtles, uh, you know, when they first released. And, you know, I was very, you know, fond of the characters and the cartoon show and the comic books. And, you know, then obviously I got older, I fell out of love with them. And it's interesting to see some, almost 30 fucking years later, the Ninja Turtles are still fucking being, being made. It's like, come on, man. How long could you be a teenager? They're, they should be like 45 years old. The Ninja Turtles should be 45 years old. <laughs> they should be fucking, they should have families, they should, they should have fucking, they should be driving Ford Focuses. 
They should have increasing pension plans by now. What is going on with fucking pop culture? Why do we bring back the same shit? <laughs> I'm losing my mind thinking that I'm playing a Ninja Turtles game in 2016. Alright, so anyway. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway. We're going to play this for around three and a half hours today. If I beat it, I beat it. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, the game's 50 bucks, by the way. 50 fucking dollars for a three-hour game, supposedly. Delightful. Um, tonight, I'm going to play more Overwatch. Uh, I'm debating if I should stream it. Because last night, I streamed Overwatch, and we barely had 300 people. So even for the premiere of Overwatch, people weren't very excited. I like Overwatch, and I'm going to play it a lot more this week. In particular, I uh, I definitely want to try to get better with a few different characters so that I can do some maybe videos about the the the, the game by the end of the week. But uh, that means I need to play it more. You know what I mean? So I'm debating. I'll probably stream it tonight and just see how it goes. If people show up, they do. If they don't, they don't. At least I'm getting some more experience under my belt, right? Um, and for the rest of the week, if, if Ninja Turtles ends up being so ridiculously short, maybe I'll play a few more sessions of Persona 3 and mix that in with Overwatch, or we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I obviously don't want to start making plans to change my whole weekly schedule before I know what this game ends up being. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Alright, everyone. So the only other thing I want to mention, and then we're going to get started. Alright? Two quick things. The first is... My Homefront The Revolution video from last week on KO Gaming. Uh, it has over 225,000 views. Basically what's happened is every day it doubled in views. So, on Friday, I, I released it on Tuesday and it had very few views, right? And then on Wednesday, Thursday, it was up to maybe 3, 4,000, 5,000 views. All of a sudden on Friday, it doubled to 10,000. Saturday, it doubled to 22,000. Sunday, it doubled to 44,000. Yesterday, it doubled to 88,000, and when I woke up this morning, it had 225,000 fucking views. Holy shit. That is a lot of views on a video that I really pretty much just made on a whim because I was so disappointed at how fucking bad Homefront the Revolution was. I've gotten, no lie, over 4,000 new subscribers on KO Gaming. Excuse me. People are, uh... Watching other videos on the channel now as well, which is good. So that's why I'm happy that I'm going to be putting out a few videos for KO of Gaming this week. Including, obviously, when I, I play this game, I'll review it. Um, and a few Overwatch videos later in the week. So, if you haven't seen it yet, I recommend you check out the Homefront video. Considering it's out of control with the amount of people checking it out. It went viral. That's freaking awesome. I'm obviously pleased. Because obviously, not only does it mean... You know, in the short term, it means I made a little bit of money, right? Homefront the Revolution was a stinker, but it ended up uh, ended up being profitable. But also, now KO Gaming actually has some attention on it, which is what I was trying to do all year. But it's so hard on YouTube to get people to fucking move from one channel to another. It's like pulling teeth, you know? Like, I used to get anywhere from five to 10,000 views minimum on my game reviews when I put them up on the King of Hate vlogs. Then I improve them, and I move them to KO Gaming, and they can't even get 4,000 views. So now, all of a sudden, the views have spiked. So pretty crazy. <laughs> and yes, there are a bunch of contrarian idiots in the comments of the video trying to defend Homefront the Revolution with the most hilarious comments I've ever heard in my life. The, my, my, my personal favorites, number one... It's not that the game runs at a low frame rate and is unplayable. I'm just a bad shot. That's why I don't like the game. Because I'm a bad shot. <laughs> That's a great one. Another one is... Um, people try to basically nitpick things that I say in the video so that it sounds like I'm, I'm not credible. Like, uh, Uncharted doesn't run at 60 frames per second. It runs at 30. Even though the game does run at 60 frames per second in multiplayer. But they're idiots and they think that I'm talking about single player, which I'm not. Um, the other thing is great, they say, oh, so you, you've been around on YouTube for eight years, and you only have, like, you know, 4,000 or 6,000 subs, you know, now it's 10,000 on, on KO Gaming, but when they first started making these comments, you only have 61 videos, 
and 6,000 subs. You've been around for eight years. Her, her, her. How could you be around for eight years? This channel was created in December of 2015. Because people are they're so stupid, they don't realize you can have more than one fucking YouTube channel. Good God, people are fucking idiots. Even though if you go to the main page of KO Gaming, my other YouTube channels are there and linked to it as other channels. It would take one second to click the main channel page and find my other channels and show that I've been around for eight years, but the commenters are that stupid. And b b the bottom line is, that's the common YouTube viewer. A dumb fuck. <laughs> A really dumb person who just goes and sees what's viral and clicks on it. And that's really why that video's got so many views is because it showed up in the search engine really high and it went viral. So people just watch it because it has views. People aren't watching it for the content of the video. They say, oh, this video is popular. I got to watch it too. Which is why, unfortunately, most YouTubers are popular today. I hate to say it. But I digress. Um, so yeah, so that's a good thing. KO Gaming is blowing up because of this video. And, uh, you know, we'll see how stuff goes this week. Hopefully I'll have a few more videos to put up on that channel this week. All right. Uh, the only plug I'm going to do today, I'm not even going to bother uh, with too many plugs. The one quick plug, and then we'll get started with gameplay, is Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash DarksidePhil. As of today, there's only one week left to pledge to my Patreon for the month of May. Okay? Keep in mind, the goal for this month is that if we hit the goal level, people who pledge $5 or more will be able to participate in a multiplayer event coming up in July. All right. <clears throat> Yes. I would love to do this multiplayer event. It'll be a, a controlled event where people who, who have pledged will be able to play multiple games with me, including Overwatch, Uncharted 4, Street Fighter 5, Doom, possibly Rocket League, possibly Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And, uh, you know, right now, unfortunately, we have not been able to, uh, well, not been able to, we haven't hit the goal yet. The monthly goal, we're under it. We're only slightly under. I think it's like 30 bucks we're under, but we're very close. So if the next week people get excited, wow, okay, it's almost the end of the month, time to pledge because I want to be part of this multiplayer event. Or even if you don't want to be part of the multiplayer event, you just want to support my effort to keep doing live gameplay streams daily, to keep doing videos on YouTube, to keep doing this full time. Obviously, there's some people who like it. If a video I put out is getting 225,000 views, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, please consider pledging. Patreon.com forward slash DarksideFill. As little as a dollar helps. Don't don't shirk off if you, if you don't have a lot of money and think, oh, a dollar doesn't do anything. The most successful people who use Patreon have a ton of people who give a little bit. That's how it works. You give a dollar a month, you don't feel any burn, right? Nothing in your pocket. A dollar a month is nothing. But for me, it adds up and it helps. And it allows me to continue doing this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time. To start with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. What do you guys think? No? People tell me no. Don't play it. Go get a go become an ice cream guy. Drive an ice cream truck. Go deliver mail. Aw oh, man. <laughs> Well, too bad. I'm here to play Ninja Turtles. Tough titties. All right. Here we go. Uh, 